Hey guys, this is Brojo Biking. Today, I'm doing kind of a bit of a different video, so I kind of wanted to talk about, basically, I want to talk about road bikes, uh, what you get when you buy a road bike. Just basically budget road bikes is what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to start off with uh, some bikes, a bike that I used to have, the lowest price road bike that I could find um, for a pretty good amount of money, and then we'll move up the ranks for pricing. So the first bike I have here is this bike. This is the Kent 700C Rotec men's bike. Uh, it's for height sizes 5'4 and up. This is a road bike that I used to have. Uh, it, in my experience, you get a lot of bike for the money. Uh, for this bike, it's the cheapest bike I could find. Uh, this is on Walmart.com. Uh, the highlights, it's a steel frame, so it's not aluminum. It's going to be kind of heavy. Most bikes, if you never had a road bike before and you just have regular road bikes or just, just regular bikes from Walmart, uh, then they're all steel, so that's no biggie. Uh, it has 21 speed drivetrain with Shimano rear derailleur. So basically what that means is in the front here, there's three rings. Uh, so that's how much options you have in the front. And in the back, there is seven. So there's seven in the back. There's three in the front, and that makes 21 when you multiply them together. So that's how they determine uh, the speed, uh, 21 speed drivetrain, because of 21 different speed options for this. Uh, the more speed options doesn't necessarily mean a better bike, because uh, it kind of depends on what you're doing. So if you want like a bigger ring in the back, a really small ring in the front, uh, then you know, whatever what you're doing, if you want to go slower or faster. Uh, usually, like pro cyclists, what they'll do is they'll have a really big ring in the front and a small ring in the back, and what that will do is allow them to go uh, faster. But this is just kind of the beginning, 21 speed, speed drivetrain from Shimano, so that's basic, and then it has alloy brakes, so just normal brakes. Uh, all the wires are all outside. Um, and one thing that's kind of weird for this bike is it has these old uh, shift it has an old sh older shifting system. So if you're used to uh, shifting with like a dial or a little clicker on your bars, this one is a little different. It's like two levers that you have to move back and forth. And that's, those are pretty easy to get used to. They're right here actually. Sorry, not that. It's right here. Those are the two little levers that you're going to be uh, having to use the shift. So yeah, this one available at a lot of Walmart stores pretty basic this is the basic uh, road bike uh, weight limits here have tires it's 541 700c tires um, so yeah pretty basic and that's the cheapest bike you can get I used to have this bike works fine I mean you know obviously it was cheap so uh, it wasn't the best road bike compared to the one I have now and I'll show you the one I have now later uh, but yeah, this is this road bike. So I'm going to go over a couple Kent bikes because uh, Kent makes really uh, budget road bikes that you can get. Here's another one from uh, from Walmart that I found. Oh, sorry, one more thing. This road bike is $148. So $150, $150, uh, pretty budget. Uh, right here, this one's a little more money. Uh, it, it's actually a, gra a gravel bike, but... I mean, it's, most people have mountain bikes anyway, so this could be kind of like a transition. Sorry, tra transitioning <laughs> road bike. Uh, so you know, it's uh, designed. The tires are designed to go on gravel, so so it's not 100% road specific. So it kind of gives you more versatility. This is the Kent 700C NAS men's bike for high sizes 5'4 and up. Basic. Um, let's see, what does it have? It has a, a different, a little bit different specs as adventure bike geometry, front and rear disc brakes. Disc brakes are kind of the brakes that, um, kind of new brakes that are they're better than disc brakes. So that's cool, cool that this bike has them. Uh, so this is kind of more, kind of a more transitional road bike. Um, a little bit more money, but it uh, seems like it's pretty good. I haven't not rid this bike. Uh, I don't. I never owned this bike. But it does have the shifters here, old shifters in the front. Uh, so kind of the same system as I used to have. Next one, this is the Canton RC Eagle Ridge Adventure Gravel Men's Bike. So this is another gravel bike. It it has a sturdy, sturdy traditional diamond steel frame. So 
This one has the adventure frame, and then this one just has, uh, I'm guessing, a regular, just standard frame, I guess. Uh, yeah, and this one has shifters. Uh, the shifters are somewhere around here. Uh, I guess this one, oh, there they are. You can barely see them, but uh, they're, they're not the uh, lever system, so that's cool. Uh, it has disc brakes, which is great. This one is $179. Uh, it, it has a 21 speed drivetrain with Shimano Revo twist shifters. That's, that's the, the uh, twist shifters. Those are the, uh, not the lever ones, they're the uh, different type. Yeah. So that's this bike. Pretty cool. A little bit more money. Uh, yeah. And next I have uh, another Kent bike I found on Amazon. This is the last of the Kent bikes before I move on to a couple of different types of brands. This is the Kent GZR700 road bike. This one is $189.99, so almost $200. This one has 21 speed, so a lot of them have 21 speed. Alloy frame, st I'm sorry, steel, steel frame, and then has alloy uh, capillary brakes. So yeah, it's kind of similar to uh, the first bike I showed you, the uh, 700C uh, green and black. So yeah, this one's pretty similar. Uh, looks like the, the tires might be a little more uh, road than the gravel bike, so that's good. It's more similar to the other one. Uh, yeah. So yeah, see here's the uh, color. Here's the green one. That's the same one. And then there's also a black one. So yeah, this one is, I guess, basically the same one. Uh, looks a little bit different though than this guy. This one is Rotec, and this one is GZR 700. So just a little bit different. Uh, maybe different color scheme, but yeah, pretty similar. And it's more money than the other one. So I guess if you like the color, then yeah. Next up, uh, oh sorry. This is another one. Here we go. This is a Diamondback Century One. Um, so basically, once you get out of the like, like two hundred dollar range, you might want to go ahead and just commit to something that's a little more money. Uh, this is a Century One, like I said earlier. Diamondback. Diamondback's a good brand for beginners. Uh, this is five hundred and seventy-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. So it is more money than. If you just were to buy a bike like this or a bike like this, it's only two hundred dollars. Uh, but if you're already two hundred dollar range, I mean, you know, this is gonna be the way to go because in between, there's not a lot in between between two hundred dollars and five hundred dollars. Um, kind of gets weird between there with a lot of brands, a lot of different pricing. But if you want to get quality, then go with Diamondback. Uh, specialized if you're getting to this price range uh, track is good so this one has a alloy bladed fork so it's an alloy road so it's gonna have an alloy frame and it's not steel anymore which is good because it's lighter uh, the brakes and everything and the derailers it's Shimano Claris which is basically the entry-level Shimano uh, drivetrain for more advanced uh, cyclist so this is a Diamondback endurance tape and yeah so all that and this is this bike uh, nice color see the this one has front brakes which is a really nice uh, here's the front um, spokes are stainless steel so yeah this is gonna be more money but it's gonna be a lot more bike. Next up, we're gonna go into a bike that, this is the bike I own. This is a bike that is beginning for really advanced, not really advanced, but really be, uh, beginning into actual road biking, doing a lot of rides and stuff. This is a specialized alley road bike. Uh, Usually it's eight hundred and forty dollars, but like right now it's on sale for seven hundred and fifty-four dollars ninety-nine cents. Uh, it comes in this uh, gloss rocket red color, uh, which is a bike. This is the bike my dad has, and then I have the black slash charcoal color here. So while I got this bike, 
uh, oh, from getting the, uh, from starting off with this road bike was because I really was into road biking and I really wanted to advance in it. So this has Shimano Claris, um, it has the alloy, uh, this is uh, the uh, alloy, uh, body frame to, where does it say that? Well, well, I'll look at it later, but it has, a uh, fact, carbon, carbon fiber fork, which is another bonus for this guy, because, uh, it's only, uh, $754.99, uh, and carbon, uh, forks are really, really good for, uh, for getting into more advanced bikes. So, yeah, my frame set is a specialized E5 premium aluminum, which is really... Specialized makes amazing frames, that's kind of their specialty, and you can see here that this is equipped with the Shimano Claris, right here, Shimano Claris, so yeah, and the, it has, of course, everything sporty, has the sporty tires, uh, small seat, uh, front shifters, yeah, this is kind of getting into actual expensive road bikes here and then the last bike i have to show you is uh, even more expensive this is the 2020 domain al2 from trek it has a red a black option royal a royal blue and then a mix so this guy for the specifications let's see uh it has Shimano, of course, I believe it has Claris, uh, disc brakes, sorry, rim brakes, like the, uh, the other one, like the other, uh, specialized, uh, so, yeah, this is just really the next level of road biking with the, uh, specialized real road bikes from real road bike uh, brands that are really respected in the world cycling. So yep, it has Shimano Claris. It has uh, aluminum body frame, and the fork is carbon. Yep. So that's just kind of a look over at what you get when you buy budget road bikes. Um, pricing. So of course, if you're just you just want to give road biking a try. Try to go with something like this, Kent. Uh, pretty cheap, but a lot of bike for the money. You can get it at a Walmart. So that's kind of where, that's where I got my first road bike. I got this one at Walmart. I found it. I said, "Hey, I like it." So I uh, got some money together and I bought it. And I gave it. I gave it away to my friend when he wanted to try road biking. Um, he said he's had a good time with it. And yeah. So that's just kind of look over. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.